Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are Group Scar, and here is our investment strategy proposal. So, we will talk about our strategies uh, in from these six uh, aspects. And the first one is the strategy. So we will uh, first we need to find ETFs. Uh, we need to find several ETFs which are now with the trend. And the second uh, step is to run them um, OLS regressions and find alpha uh, according to the Pharma French Five Factors model. And the third step is to hedge the beta rates of their target ETF. And the last step is to create a portfolio which combine both the target ETF and other ETFs. Um, here's the second part uh, that I will talk about the way we choose ETFs. Uh, we chose uh, 10 ETFs and the first two is the transportation and technology ETF because the trade war between China and America is uh, mostly relevant to those two industries and the second is the uh, real estate because the US economy is recovered since Trump come to power and as we know when the economy has been recovered um, the real estate would benefit lost and it is the time now and um, also we chose US oil ETF because the uncertainty of international oil price uh, would turn the demand of oil from import to domestic. Um, also, we <clears throat> considered healthcare and insurance ETF uh, because the new health insurance policy proposed by Trump would benefit uh, those two industries. And also, we chose uh, financial service ETF because um, of the uh, <clears throat> uh, fiscal expansions of the US, US uh, government and the demand on investment would benefit the financial service industries and at the last we chose consumer goods and gold ETF because they are designed for uncertainty forever so the third part uh, we will talk about from a French five factors model uh, and it definitely uh, is better than the three factor models and it has been proven that uh, Five factors model directed by capture, uh, capturing their size, value, profitability, and investment patterns in average uh, stock returns performs better than the three factor models. In that, it lessens their uh, normally average returns left unexplained. So here comes to the empirical analysis. Um, we chose the uh, data range from May. 2006 to uh, September 2018 to uh, for our regressions. Um, <clears throat> after the first round of regressions, we need some adjustments to delete the uh, arrivals which are not uh, significant. So after the adjustments, uh, the model is better and only two ETFs have alpha not equal to uh, zero. And the healthcare has significantly positive alpha, so we decided uh, we decide to choose it as our target uh, ETF. And we need to uh, hedge uh, this ETF. And this is our basic equations. And our first step is to animate the um, multi-collinearity before we could solve the equations by, by uh, Python. And the second step is to find uh, our optimistic solutions uh, for our hedging, uh, which has the highest alpha. Uh, and the total cost for our portfolio is 8,473 US dollar. Uh, and we need to uh, buy uh, nearly 40 units of gold ETF and also short 37 uh, units of US oil ETF. And this is the way we calculate uh, our total return after uh, considering the average price of the ETF. Uh, so our portfolio has uh, slightly more validity than the market, but it has a uh, higher uh, average monthly return. And this is our uh, calculated uh, return. 
uh, as we can see, uh, when the economy is in recessions, our portfolio would be better, and we are confident that uh, this will work in the future because uh, it was proven by the uh, financial crisis. So uh, here comes to the questions that uh, what our target customer is. The answer uh, is the risk seeker, and uh, they are not confident on U.S. economy. Uh, they are also afraid of uncertainty because our portfolio is designed for uncertainty. Uh, so this, our portfolio is a perfect match for them. And thank you so much for listening.